Hi folks, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek, the official Starships collection review featuring 38, the Delta Flyer. I think this is a favourite of almost all of you, I have to, I'd have to assume, but um, it looks like a pretty decent ship from the get-go, um, but let's have a look inside. So again, I like the fact, and I think probably say this all the time, I like how... Uh, the models are coming in these bags now because it prevents scuff marks and for some reason this is made of unobtainium or something Ugh. come on here we go finally after i destroy my recording setup ah the joy the joys of an unbox just had to do a bit of a reconfig there of the setup and um, so we have our model and we have our magazine i can't believe again we're up to issue 39 we are flying through these and there's been a lot of news recently um, a lot of the up and coming ships have been previewed and um, you can check out my other youtube uh, videos there on that or, and uh, jump over to facebook twitter and instagram for the irish trekker community because uh, you guys are sharing some great tidbits that i'm spreading through to the community as well so awesome thank you very much for that um, but here we have our magazine great graphic actually on that um, but let's put the probably what everyone's here to see aside for just one second and we'll have a look at the magazine. So again, we have a nice uh, digital front cover there. Um, little deflector dish, the Delta Flyer uh, insignia there. And type shuttlecraft. So Eagle Moss, we do need more shuttlecrafts. Hint, hint, uh, German exclusive. Do release the shuttlecraft as a limited edition. I don't know what you want to do. Just uh, put them in there uh, into the collection somewhere for everyone else to enjoy. Um, launched 2375, length 21 meters, standard crew 4, with room for standing, I'd say. Um, so, again, we have our standard layout here, Delta Flyer run through, designing the ship, creating the CG Delta Flyer, and on-screen appearances with our normal info on how to mount. Anything else here, we have a Unimatrix shielding, uh, thank you very much, 7 of 9. Um, Para-metallic hull plating, ooh, photon, photonic missiles, and fore and aft phasers. So pretty cool, pretty cool. Nice front-on profile of that ship, actually. Oh, I haven't read this magazine, as you, as you can see, that I've just opened it. So <laughs> everything is a surprise here to me as well, and I won't ruin too many of the things just for you guys to enjoy your read-through of here. Um, so pretty epic graphic along the top here. Um, nice shot of it being built there on the voyager episode um working around the clock the delta flyer was built in just a few days naturally because you can do certain things like that in the future the initial idea for the delta flyer came from seven of nine during a mission to survey a proto nebula aboard a class two shuttle we need another ship of course we do so everyone knows that episode i do believe um again some more awesome graphics that was an epic shot of um not an epic shot, but an epic episode where it went under the ocean planet. Um, pretty cool. Um, with the addition, uh, the addition of immersion shielding, the Delta Flyer had necessary structural integrity to dive to a depth of nearly 600 kilometers to the Monian ocean floor. Cool. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And again, we have the Borg. Borg, 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 Borg. And, oh yeah, now that was inside the Graviton, Graviton Ellipse, Eclipse, Ellipse, I think it was. Um, advanced Systems, Taking on the Borg, all that good stuff. Uh, nice run through here of points of interest. What do we have here? Dorsal Communications, Navigational Deflector, Bizarre Collectors, Emergency Warp Plasma Flush Vent, pretty cool, Atmospheric speed brakes so they fold open just to slow it down um borg system enhancements and some key bits and bobs i'll leave for you guys there to discover as well so here we have designing um the delta flyer uh resident illustrator rick sternback happy days so lots of little doodles there you can kind of see the evolution of design they kind of had it pinned from the get-go it's just a matter of refining the details on that um so i'd love to see these just evolutions of design and possible directions of what might have been that's pretty cool actually as well it's kind of like uh, runabout 
kind of almost Bejoran to a degree. Um, yeah, interesting. We kind of have more of a diamond head with the kind of auxiliary engine compartment here. Definite runabout esque design points over here as well. It's interesting to see. Shows a nice sense of scale there to boot. Um, additional modifications. So again, obviously it's one thing designing a ship, but there has to be an interior of it as well. Um, kind of nice run through off the ramp at the back. What else do we have here? Um, yeah, it's just pretty much going through all the just additional design modifications that it would have made through to its first arrival onto our screens. And here we have a run through off the CG model. Uh, the lighting on the Delta Flyer was an area where um, they could add their own creativity uh, to help make the ship look more organic. So we have a lot of, you know, panelling reflection here from the impulse drive, the Borg elements there as well. So again, yeah, pretty much play a pretty strong part in there, I'd say. Never really get to see, never really focused on the kind of aft impulse drive section there as well. They're kind of pretty cool. Pretty cool. And the race. That was cool, actually. A cool episode there as well. So, again, first appearance, Extreme Risk Voyager. Um, do, 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 drive, that was the episode of that. Pretty cool show. And uh, some key trivia points there as well. And a brief view of what is to come. The drone hollow ship from the Romulan Empire. Um, really unique looking ship. But I won't delay too much longer on the magazine because all we want to do is look at the model. Here we have the Delta Flyer. So let's get her out of her box and see what goodies we have to go through. Um, she's quite heavy and she takes up a lot of space inside the packaging. If I can just get that to one side. And uh, let's worry about the stand in a minute. If I can wrestle her out. Here we go. Pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. Um, bit of a scuff there. I wouldn't be too worried about that. That'll probably come out. Um, Metal on the top, plastic on the back, but pretty cool. I like it. Um, I just like the design of the ship anyway, but the model looks pretty awesome. Um, Delta Flyer insignia is nice and neat. Um, even the, I don't know if I can get it out there, the navigation defector on the front is kind of there as well, um, even though it's quite small. Uh, we have USS Voyager decads are showing up there as well, so that's pretty crisp. Cockpit. Very nice, very clean. Um, our Bizarre and Warp engines here are transparent, so they're going to capture the light very nice in your display, guys. Um, overall insignia as well, really sharp, pretty cool. There's our air brakes as well. Um, our aft impulse engines aren't plastic, but they were quite small anyway. We have a little bit of aztec -y here. Um, I don't see any kind of green components on here, kind of more so black but I could be wrong. More RCS controls here as we had on the front, which are pretty cool. Um, we have our phaser banks, which are nice and neat. Good molding on those actually, by the way. And a little bit of a scuff on the top, but again, nothing to cry home about. This is a nice ship, actually. A lot of detail actually on the ventral section of it as well. We have a little bit more Aztec, if you can see it there. Uh, slight blue or scrape or it's like someone's, it's like hatching there. I think that's going to come off if I come at that aggressively enough. Um, but nothing to worry about. Uh, there's our landing skids and our rear panel. And we even have a lot of, like, that's a lot of detail there in the underside of the flared section on the aft off the ship as well. So pretty cool. What do you think of this, guys? Are you happy with it? It's a nice size if you can kind of get a sample off. I, I don't have the biggest hands either. But it's a nice size um, off ship to be playing with there. So that's pretty cool. And again, the, the decaling on it on both sides is pretty much immaculate as well. And um, we have more phaser banks just on that section too. So yeah, I like that. I really like that. Pretty awesome. <clears throat> so let's see if we can kind of get right up super close, kind of fly by here. There's some molding just on the kind of base of the cockpit there as well. I just can't get that navigation side in close enough for you to get a real appreciation of it. Decaling on the underneath as well. Pretty awesome. 
I just like when they include these translucent pieces as well. It just kind of brings the unit to a little bit of life that you can kind of see it change through your different display angles as well. But that's nice. And I think the pinstriping along the body of it as well is nice and crisp there. Um, pretty uniform on both sides. I've never had a model off the Delta Flyer and I'm very happy that I do now. That's awesome. I love it. But let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, I know a few of you already have it, and I think you were very impressed. A badass, I think it was uh, said to me as well on one or two occasions. And I do have to agree, this is pretty a badass. Um, Eagle Moss, I salute you for including this. And for including it fairly, you know, are we midway through? There's another spot. I don't think we're even midway through the collection. But uh, guys, for everyone else abroad, you know, in um, Australia and America, this is an epic ship for you Federation fanboys and girls out there. Definitely pick this up. You will not be disappointed. So let's have a look at her on the mount and let's compare it to another ship on the line just to give you a sense of scale as well. So here we have her on the mount, uh, really secure in the back there. Um, it's not going anywhere and we do have a nice elevated view on that. So depending on, again, where you have it displayed, you might see a lot of the ventral section of the ship if you have it a little bit higher. But um, again, the way I look at these kind of elevated mounts is it looks like they're in a almost action stance. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And I'm really happy with the kind of overlay of that mount there. I was just afraid about that maybe going forward, tipping forward. But uh, once it's in, it's not going anywhere. So let's have a look at another ship just to give it a sense of scale. And um, we can go from there. So here we have the Delta Flyer and the Runabout side by side. Two relatively small scale ships in the collection, but again, two fan favorites, I would assume anyway. Um, you can definitely see a sense of scale between both of them, but the Delta Flyer is a big ship in comparison to its scale as well. And it's a shuttle. We should get more shuttles, hint, hint. Um, mounts, you can see it's quite high on the mount in comparison to the runabout, but that's cool. I like how there isn't kind of uniformity between them, just to kind of maybe set up a scene in your display and so on and so forth. Um, you can see those plastic components there, taking the light from the different light sources as well. So kind of giving you a sense of, you know, them being alive, not that they're a machine, but they're just not a toy like it, well, which they are a toy, but just that little bit of detail just gives them a little bit of a kind of, you know, a je ne sais quoi. Um, as the French would say. Um, or do they even say that at all? Maybe it's just me. <laughs> but enough of that rambling. Um, but you could definitely see the Federation styling. Um, but again, the uniqueness of the Delta Flyer as well. And just that paint job just pops, even in comparison to the runabout as well. But two pretty cool models from Eagle Moss. And I'm really, really excited with that Delta Flyer. It has definitely set, met, and possibly even exceeded my expectations of it. Um, Tip of the hat to you, Eagle Moss, and uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes my review of issue 38 of uh, the Delta Flyer. And um, thanks for watching, and do leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below of what you think of the ship. What uh, ships are you looking forward to? Just any general chit chat. And don't forget to jump over to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to stay in touch with the Irish Trekkie community. And if you're not yet subscribed, why not? <laughs> Hit the subscribe button there not to miss out on any up and coming videos. Uh, I've been Irish Tricky and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye bye.